Hey boys and girls, happy Friday. Is everybody excited that it's Friday or is it just the same as every other day? I don't really know how to feel about Fridays anymore. I used to be so excited. <laughs> All right, so today there's no read aloud. We will do our read aloud again next week, but today is super important that you watch this video um, because we're basically tying everything up that we've been doing this week into one assignment for today. Okay, and moving forward, our Friday read aloud, um, I mean, our Friday question that we answer, that we write long, this is gonna be what we grade from next week on out. So it's really important that you do a good job on your write long, okay? So this is basically gonna be at least like a paragraph explaining our question, okay? But before we go on, I wanna just remind you guys that in fantasy books, there are several things that we need to do as readers, okay? We've got to um, we've got to consider these real life lessons, even though it's taking place in this fantastical world and the different you know kind of environment or maybe even a different setting. There are still many many real themes and life lessons that we can learn from these uh, situations. Okay, so you're going to still consider your um, your main character or any character really that um, they make mistakes and their achievements right to determine these lessons so you can't just say well you know Harvey is brave right you have to go back and say you know what made him do that right what what led him up to that he made several mistakes before he decided to be brave right um, like many of you he was sitting at home bored out of his mind and so yeah, that was probably the first thing is maybe he didn't appreciate what he had. Um, and then the, the big one, of course, was that he went with Rictus. So, um, and that was in the very beginning. So we gotta consider all these things, um, not just their success, but then the mistakes that they've made along the way. And then you're gonna notice how that character changes throughout the book to find these lessons, okay? So, um, Basically, I don't have a new teaching point today, but I wanted to give you guys some helpers, okay? I know you guys are super familiar with these kind of printouts that we use in the classroom, and I wanted to um, just make you especially um, pay close attention to some of these, okay? So this is what narrative writers use um, in their writing, okay? And so this is gonna help you in your write long today. Um, sometimes you're gonna have a flashback or forward there's gonna be multiple plot lines. There's gonna be this inner thinking, right? It might not even be what we're seeing in the book, but you know that this character is thinking a certain way. There's gonna be dialogue, words that are actually said that's gonna help you explain your story and your right long today, okay? And then this one you've got revealing actions. You've got multiple points of view, right? So you've got Mrs. Griffin's point of view, you've got Harvey's point of view, Wendell, and then even Harvey's parents, right? They have their own point of view at this time of what's taking place in this story, okay? So don't discount that. That might be relevant in something that you're writing today. Um, you've got this, sorry, that's really loud. <laughs> this first person narrator, this is I, me, and my. Um, you've got the reader knows more than the character. We know that that happens sometimes, right? Because you're like, wait, no, Harvey. This is stuff that we've been talking about since the beginning of fantasy. You've got the description, right? And it's really helpful to have a good description of this house and really to understand that the house is its own character in this book, right? You've got the use of metaphors, like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Maybe that's how Harvey feels going back in to rescue these other children. Right, you've got the tone. How is this setting? Um, I mean, how is the tone going? Like, is it scary? Is it spooky? Is it happy? Is it light? This makes a difference in what in what you're writing about. And then, of course, symbolism. Right? And we talked about dragons and what those dragons might symbolize. You may have actual dragons in your um, in your fantasy book, or you may have what those dragons symbolize. Right? And so that would just be like a challenge or something that the character is going through that's maybe hindering them from achieving that next goal, okay? So you guys, um, our question today, our write long, I'm just gonna put this up here. I hope that you guys can all see that. Maybe just put a pause on the screen for a second. Um, I didn't do a big printout today, sorry. But it says, what mistakes 
did your character in your text make early on that you notice he or she is learning from, okay? Now again, with this right long, you're doing this on the book that you are reading, okay? This is not on the Thief of Always. This is your fantasy book that you're reading at home, right? And hopefully you're looking on Epic or some other amazing place to find books. And then the next part is what can you as a reader learn from this, okay? So keep in mind, I'm looking for at least three or more sentences and you're really giving this some deep thought because it's a right long. So you guys are just doing amazing. I hope that you continue to do amazing. Keep trying your best, all right? And that's all I really want. I don't need perfection, but I, knew, I do need your best. So you guys, I hope you're getting outside. That's one of the reasons why I chose to do this today. I need outside time sometimes. So I hope you guys just can get out there and at least see some green because that's important. All right, you guys take a deep breath and go right long. Log into Canvas through your SSO. Find that quizzes section, find Friday the 24th, click on there and make sure that after you've typed up your stuff, you've done your spell check, you've looked over it to make sure that it's a-okay and hit submit. <laughs> that way I can see that you guys are working, okay? Um, and then of course today is our reading log due date. So if you've been keeping track of it on your own throughout the week, just go into that form and submit it one time today for the week. And we'll see you guys next week and have a wonderful, amazing weekend. Keep working hard. Bye, guys.